All right, so right now there are three different men on 90 Day Fiance who are trying to have a kid that don't actually want to have a kid. Jovi has been very unjovi like lately, and honestly, it's scaring me. He knows that his relationship with Yara is most likely coming to an end, so he's trying to use a baby as like a last ditch effort. You know, he's he's doing a Hail Mary. When Jovi, of all people, starts talking about having a baby to save the relationship, you know it's over. At the end of the day, there are two people in this marriage, and I'm starting to feel like my opinion just doesn't matter anymore. Yara wants an apartment here, and she wants to stay in Europe longer. Like, this kind of determines our future, you know, so... I'll do a quick summary, just for those who don't really follow the show closely. Jovi likes strip clubs. He really likes them a lot. Yara, not so much. This has always been an issue. They were never really a good match from the beginning, but then they had a baby, so that kind of kept Yara here, and Jovi would leave for months at a time for his job. Yara is from Ukraine and hasn't seen her family in a few years, so when the war broke out, obviously she wanted to see them. So she, Jovi, and their daughter traveled to Europe, and then she started talking about looking for apartments and staying there, since Jovi has to go to work for a month anyway, and it's just clear that she doesn't want to go back to the United States. Look, I was actually thinking if you want to come back home, how do you think it would feel about us having another baby? You could tell that absolutely killed him to say by the way he looks at the ground in shame. He could barely even get the words out. He was like, what do you think? about having another baby. How do you think it would feel about us having another baby? The sadness in this man's voice when he said that, that might have been the saddest baby proposal in history. Geez, Jovi, if you're gonna do this, you gotta at least sell the idea. You gotta act excited about it. You wanna have another baby? Oh yeah, this looks like the face of a man who's excited to have another baby. This was like the worst baby Hail Mary effort I've ever seen in my entire life. It's obvious what he's doing and she sees through it right away. You know, if Jovi wants to have a baby, something is not right. Mila's almost two now and I don't want to wait forever. Like, I don't want to be an old dad. But also, i kind of been thinking that maybe a child could strengthen our relationship. What? If Yara got pregnant again, I feel like it would bring us closer. But you two just had a baby a few years ago and it did not bring you closer together. That's why you're literally standing here on the verge of breaking up. Like she doesn't want to go back to the United States. And your daughter's only two years old. What if you have another baby and then when the baby's like two months old, you guys are arguing a lot and you're like, you know what would save this relationship? Another baby. I'm sick of this. We're arguing all the time about this baby. I think having another baby would bring us closer together. Is that how people end up having like 10 kids? They just keep having babies to bring each other closer together after the stress of the previous baby? Are you like, this is what's serious right now? Yes. No, because I will be the person who will raise them. You're always at war. No, no. I like how he puts his head down in defeat because he knows it's true. It's like, yeah, you know, you always said you're you're feeling lonely because it's just you stuck in an apartment with a baby. So now you can be stuck in the apartment with two babies. And then when daddy comes home after a long night of partying, you can take care of three babies. Now, honestly, Jovi has not been as bad as he used to be. It's just, you know, I'm always going to have to goof on him. It'd be hard for me to deal with two babies. Super hard job, and I'm not ready for that again. It's something that I've been thinking about for a long time, and now's the time to do it, not to wait. Yeah, okay, now that she's talking about staying in Europe, you conveniently want to have another baby. And to be fair, she shouldn't be talking about staying in Europe without consulting him at all, which is what she did. I think her friends and her mom kind of planted the idea as a way to get out of this relationship, and she just kind of rolled with it. I am not planning to have another baby in at least four years, Jovi. I like how Jovi put up no fight for his side of the argument. You know, he didn't look happy or excited about having a baby at all. He just admitted defeat immediately. So now because uh, I said that we maybe want to stay in Europe, you're trying to drop in the bomb on me about another baby? Like, is that something like you think if we will have another baby, you no, can't control it's anymore? Not, it's not, it's not. Yeah, not. because it's harder for me to... Yeah, that's, that's definitely it. It's one thing to take off with one baby, but two babies, you're pretty locked down. Now, honestly, in this situation, I can understand both sides because it makes sense sense that she'd want to stay in Europe while Jovi's at work because he's gone for like a month or two maybe at a time and she has the support of all her friends and family in Prague and her mother hasn't even seen her granddaughter very much yet but at the same time Jovi is worried that if she stays there that she's never going to want to go back to the U.S. and I actually think that's pretty valid because she's been quite vocal about how she does not like it in the U.S. and she wants to stay there and she initially did not tell him about looking for an apartment there she kind of went behind his back with her mother so yeah that's pretty much it now for the Jovi situation but let's see what's going on with these two crazy kids 
kids. Honestly, Samit and Jenny have one of the most genuine relationships on the show. Like, they actually love and care about each other, and you can tell from watching. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. But Samit's family will never accept Jenny, and that has been well established for years at this point, but he's in complete denial. He thinks throwing a kid into the mix is gonna solve everything. What, are his parents gonna be like, oh great, we didn't accept this before, but now you're raising some kid you don't want with some old lady who also doesn't want a kid. Great. And then what happens if they still don't accept you? What, are you gonna return the kid? You can't do that. Is this gonna be like an Angela situation where they're searching for her last egg like it's the fucking lost ark? A lot of things change in life. I will be uh, 35 by two years. And uh, might be I'll start thinking about uh, having kids. What the f What? No. Oh, that is so funny. You could tell he's just taking a shot in the dark. He just casually brings it up like it's not going to be a huge surprise to her. She's like, dude, I'm a grandmother. I don't want to raise a kid again. Uh, we might adopt someone. Then I want to have them in India. First of all, we've talked about this since we met over 10 years ago that this can't happen. And it's been understood this whole entire time. So how come all of a sudden now where he wants to have a kid when it was never... They are on two completely different wavelengths. His family doesn't accept her. So she wants them to move to the US where her family will be accepting of him. And he's like, yeah, we could do that. Or I could take a page out of Jovi's playbook and we could do the old baby Hail Mary. And in that case, we'll have a solid, you know, 1% chance of it succeeding. And if it doesn't work out, now we're just stuck with a kid for the rest of our lives. If you want to have kids, why did you marry me? Hey, nobody ever told me there was a limit on pregnancy. That's, that's bullshit. Somebody should do something about that. Where did this come from? When I think about family and my parents oh, here and we go. how to just make them happy, how to... That's not the best reason to adopt, especially if you're with somebody who also doesn't want to adopt, because then, Summit, you'll be in a situation where you both don't want to raise a kid and now you have to. That's not going to be good. Because if I have a kid, then... Maybe they will be happy, okay, now you have somebody uh, to take care of you. And if I have a kid, I want my family to be with that. But like I said, what if they still don't want to talk to you? What if they still aren't interested in having a relationship with you or your child? I think Jenny's plan of moving to the US, or at least acting like they're really serious about moving to the US to see how their family reacts is a much better plan. Because maybe his family would actually miss him and change their mind if they realized he's leaving for good. Once again, Smit will do anything to make his parents happy. And as always, that's where we stand with these two. So with that, we're gonna move on to the third and final part of this whole baby Hail Mary situation. And this one is probably the most unusual usual. I'm sure most people know the deal with these two, so I'm not going to summarize the whole thing. But basically, Usman figured out that he can't have multiple wives and also move to the US and get a green card. So now he wants to adopt his nephew. Now, a lot of people, including Usman, have said that this is a normal thing in their culture, which I'm sure is true, but it's definitely not normal given the circumstances of what's going on. He's going to take him over to America and have some 52-year-old reality TV lady raise him. That's not normal. Okay. I don't feel like I need another wife. So? Because getting two wives, it may deny me to move to America. This kid is super cute. Are they really just going to take him away from his parents and bring him to America because of some weird PS5 relationship? I think I mentioned before that Usman re-gifted the PS5 to Kimberly's son. Now the thing's just being used as a bargaining chip. I thought they were going to break it out and try to exchange it for Usman's nephew. I was thinking if you can give us Mahadi, to adopt him as our child. Me. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that kind of a weird way to bring it up? To be like, oh, I, I can't have multiple wives, so I'm not going to be able to have a kid. Do you think you could just give us yours? Come on, fork him over. Kim brought him a little toy football to play with. Is, is that not enough to prove that we love him? And I'm talking about an American football, so they didn't even know what the hell it was. They're like, oh, great, you brought him a fucking egg to play with? Don't worry, like, we are going to take care of him 100%. Oh, okay, in that case, here you go. Give you money as hell. I don't understand. Like... What I'm saying is that... Honestly, I've spent a lot of time thinking about it, and I don't see how this could go wrong at all. I haven't thought of one single thing that could possibly happen. So anyway, his brother was obviously very skeptical, but his main concern was that his child would be raised with his tradition and values and culture. And that's something that's clearly not going to happen from Kim, and may not even happen that much if they're living in America with Usman. This would be one of the craziest things to ever happen on the show if it did happen, but obviously there's no chance that it's going to. So yeah, there you have it. What do you think of all of these situations? Do you think anybody makes any sense whatsoever. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Like, what is it with strip club? Like, seriously. Strip clubs are fun. <laughs>